Good morning guys, hope you're all doing well. So it is day number two of the house move and Fraser and the kids and I have come over here early this morning. It is 20 past 10. So what we're doing this morning is trying to get Charlie's room sorted. He's probably got the room that he can get completed the quickest just because he's not waiting on a lot of stuff. So, oh god, he's screaming. So anyway, I'm going to help Fraser to build the cot up, just holding bits and pieces. Charlie is so ready for a nap, so it'll probably be quite aptly timed by the time we finish it. What is wrong with this boy? Oh! What's wrong with this boy? He wants to climb up the tent. Oh, you want to climb up? Are you tired? Look, pretend you're having a wee sleep. Night night. Look, night night. That's you. Oh. Night night. Are you helping daddy? Has she been a good help? Yeah. That's good. Els, are you helping daddy? Guys, a wee tip, see if you are moving and you've got parts of your bed, like for example this has got all these screws, we just put it in like a sandwich bag and then tied it on to one of the bars so that we knew where the parts went, which made it easier at this point, didn't it? Uh -huh. You did? You did? Charlie needs the bits on the side still though, so he does daddy. Mm -hmm. He does. He's he just a little baby. Do you want me to help you here? He Do you want me to hold you? Hold, hold you, not hold you. <laughs> Do you want me to hold it? Look, what do you think? Get, get for taking my blind. You can't go in. Please. You're not a baby. I'll be ten. Okay, hi, me baby Ella. Yeah. Right, there's Aunt Leslie. Let's go see Aunt Leslie and Granny. Like the nanny Jean. Aunt Leslie. Nanny Jean is there. Go. Nanny. Told you guys this would be his favourite thing. <laughs> watching the digger. Hey, you watching the digger, darling? He actually cried to get on this seat so that he could sit up and watch it. There's been a couple of hours delay there because my grandparents, my grandma, my grandpa, my aunt Leslie, my uncle Peter were all up to have a little look. So they've just gone. They brought up from some Prosecco as well, which was nice. But I just realised that yesterday, because the carpet fitter was in so late and then with friends up, um, we wouldn't have been able to show upstairs. So that's what I'm going to do just now, is properly show you the upstairs tour. This is very bright at the moment, so let me fix it. <laughs> Obviously the stairs are a bit kind of like loose with all these little threads at the moment, but this is the staircase. And I love it because it's two-tone. I've got the lovely nice wooden banister, and then obviously the kind of um, spokes or whatever you want to call them are white. Only thing is I'm thinking in here <laughs> is going to be tricky to get cleaned so I'll need to keep dusting that every day so that doesn't build up because that's going to end up getting really grubby in there. But anyway the stairs go from the bottom obviously all the way up to here and then I've got a turn so I've got a three turn and then it is the landing where the banister continues all the way around into the top hallway. I'm really pleased with the colour of this carpet. It's a lovely shade. It's greyish, I would call it. So it's in between a grey and a beige. But it's absolutely stunning. I love it. And then when you get to the top of the landing here, I've got a radiator and then a lovely big window at the top. And again, these blinds here are from Top Cat Blinds. I don't know if you can see it because of the way the light's coming in, but they are the most gorgeous kind of like animal print. And then the top part here has got the senses pelmet as well which is in the matching fabric and then I've got the silver beaded um, cord and that, that's obviously attached to this part on the wall here because for child safety so they don't like get tangled up in it or whatever and then I've got the silver end caps as well on the top of the pelmet and at the end here but overall I'm really pleased with how those blinds look they just look so finished with that like little bit at the top makes such a difference <laughs> Who's carrying on in here? Charlie! Who's carrying on in here? Charlie! Peekaboo! You two rascals. <laughs> so this here, this space here will be my office space where I'll keep like a desk and like my cameras and stuff for when I'm filming. It's also going to be part time um, yoga slash gymnastics for Charlie in here. <laughs> <laughs> and everything is height accessible for the kids and also for like any wheelchair users. That's why everything's low down. So you put the switch on for me. Thank you. Right, let's not play yeah. with it though. This is a really nice big spacious room for what I'm using it for, you know, for like doing try on hauls and filming and keeping my desk here. It's just going to be so useful for me. But I'm also going to put like a nice sofa here 
so that I can have like people staying, like a sofa bed, so that if anyone's staying over, we can just pull it out and we can have some visitors. You guys are heckling me the whole time. I don't want to go in jail. Oh, did you bump your head, silly dumpling? So here I was going to put curtains and then I thought, nah, we'll just leave it with the Roman blinds instead because I don't think it's big enough, like the window's big enough to warrant curtains. Plus I think it would also make the room look quite off centre because the window is actually not in the centre of that wall. Yeah. I need to find a nice yeah. light for in here as well. You guys are crazy. Let's go into the next room. Next one is the bathroom. Just come from the stairs here, that'll be the first room. And then the next kind of cupboard we've got here is just the water tank, nothing exciting in there. Let's we'll close that over. I love all the handles as well because they've only got one part that's like shiny and the rest of it's matte so it's not going to mark quite as easily so that's always going to look nice and clean. And then obviously here the carpet has finished just at the threshold of the door and then here is my bathroom which I am very pleased about. So I don't really know where to start, let's just start in this corner here. So first of all the tiles are from Porcelanosa. Um, I think they're called Aluminio Gris, um, which is the actual name of the tile. So I've obviously got that halfway up. And then the toilet is from Roca. The sink is also from Roca as well. I'm, I imagine that's from there as well. Um, and over here I've just got a wee candle that my brother bought for us. My brother and Lauren got that for us yesterday, so that's sitting here. And again, another blind from Top Cat. So I'll pop the light on in a second so you can see that. But it's like a lovely kind of like shimmery material, it's really nice. That's still getting a senses helmet on the top as well. So you can probably see it a bit better now. It's got a nice kind of design on it. And again, it's all silver with the end caps and stuff. We need to get a toilet roll holder because we don't have one. So that's just sitting there on its own. And then I've got this lovely vanity unit, which cost me a small fortune because if you guys have bought a new build, you'll know what it's like when it comes to getting extras. You pay well over the odds, but I couldn't have had the rest of the bathroom finished, like the tiling and stuff, if I didn't just go with the one that they were providing. So I upgraded and got a vanity unit, which has got like little drawers in it. And it means I can keep like some products and stuff in here because I've not got any other storage. And then over here, I've got the bath, which you're probably going to notice. The bath panel is sitting squint. It's one thing that I've noticed that's not right with the finishing here is that that bath panel squint. I think it's slipped when they've like put it in or whatever. So that is getting fixed. Um, and I wouldn't say the bath is actually white. It looks like a kind of off kind of greyish colour, which I quite like actually. It goes really nicely with the tiles. So yeah, tiles you can see here, obviously. And then I've got a different coloured grout. I didn't get the white grout. I got a darker grout to go with the tile because I think it finishes it a bit nicer. And then in the top here, I've got spotlights, which are all finished in white, which I do like as well. And then over here, I've got a separate shower which is very unusual. This is not something you would normally find in a house is a separate shower and bath, not here anyway, not in Scotland. So this is like quite a, a different sort of like aspect to the house, but I really like it. So I'm going to show you something really cool. Well, I think it's really cool anyway. See that light there? That light is the extractor fan. So if I turn that one on, the extractor fan goes on and also one light. So if I'm just getting ready in the morning and I don't want to disturb everybody and I really want to use this shower, then I can just put on that one light and not put the rest of them on and the extractor fan will go on, which I really like. I think that'll be nice at night time, just if I'm chilling out before I'm going to bed. But then I can also put on the rest of the lights, which is like that. So yeah, really different. I don't know if you'll be able to see the blind better here. It's like a lovely, like shimmery, sort of swirly pattern, I just really like it, I think it's lovely. And then obviously this is the shower, so this kind of opens outwards, it's very stiff just now because it's magnetic. So that opens like that, then you step in the shower which is really spacious and obviously just use it. So I'm going to get my trusty old dispenser thing that I had before and have that in here with my shampoo and conditioner. I might put it in this wall actually, so you don't see it as much. Um, yeah, and then I've obviously got the nice big like shower head, and then it's the mixer tap, so that's obviously the hot or cold part, and then that's the pressure, and then that little part keeps it all together. Someone's at the door. 
it's just that. <laughs> Want me to take these in? Yeah. I feel like I'm trying to like um, tease in the upstairs tour because I've only done two rooms or something. <laughs> but anyway, Charlie's having a nap, so I can't do that just now. So that's come to a halt. But Fraser and I have been well, Fraser's been busier than me. I feel like when I say Fraser and I have been busy, it's almost like I'm trying to say I've done as much as him, which I've definitely not. He's done all the heavy lifting in here, but. Try to think of the things that have changed. My grandpa gave me onions, how cute is this? He grew them in his garden, so he's giving me red onions, so I'm putting them in the fridge first. But um, I am going over to get some lighting, and I'll tell you why in a second. So we went to the storage unit that's empty now. Gran and Grandpa's house is empty now as well. I have got my bedside tables, which are going in Ella's room now. We've got like an Ella Reed. And then in here, this is the biggest change. So we've got that unit that used to be in the house. That's going to be our TV unit now. So that's just going to be here. We've been putting up little bits, like kind of wee furniture bits and flowers and stuff, which probably don't really need to go up just now, but it's kind of making it feel homely. So that's what we're doing. And then we've got this lovely marble table. I put this in a vlog, maybe, God, when was that? Like three months ago or something. So we got this marble table from Harvey's Furniture Store. So that's in the living room and it matches in nicely with the colouring of that um, high gloss TV unit. And then I've got all the toys, I'm just like totally ignoring the fact that the place is a mess. But then also in this corner I've got the matching TV lamp, not TV lamp, TV, no, what am I trying to say? <laughs> the matching side lamp, table lamp, not table lamp. Oh my god, what is the word for this? Small table that you put a lamp on. <laughs> I can't even say the word, what's wrong with me? Anyway, this room's a bit of a mess of toys just to keep the kids entertained, but it's kind of taking shape now. They, obviously, the couch is going to go in that corner. Um, but yeah, I've also got this lamp here that I used to have in the house, and I love it. I think it matches in so well, but the... Um, shade for it get marked when we had a kind of house party i think i spilled a drink or somebody spilled a drink on it so i need to go and get another one of these for putting on that little <laughs> whatever this thing's called table um and i'll need to get two new lampshades because obviously the one that comes with that i'll not be able to get it to buy it separately so i'll need to get two new lampshades one of these lamps and then also i want to get a floor lamp for in here so it'll go in that corner and potentially a wee chair for there so yeah my camera battery's flashing i'm looking a bit worse for wear mum's coming with me so is ella charlie's going to stay with frat and we're going to go over to dunelm see if i can get the bits and pieces that i'm needing to get if not there's tk maxx and also i don't think the top drawer is there anymore mum i think yeah, it's closed down Oh, she's, she's already six. checked. <laughs> right, well, we need to get there before six, and it's like half three, four o'clock. Five past four. Five past four. So we're going to go just now. Hopefully, my camera battery doesn't die. But um, we'll try and get a couple of little looks around the shop and leave Fraser to unload the rest of the house and look after Demolish and Charlie. De stress and bubble wrap. Yeah, de stress and bubble wrap. That's so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Right, Elevate. And Moana, me Moana. Brought, if you brought the kids up, let me and Jennifer. Do you want to get rolled down in some bubble wrap? Hey, okay. pop, pop. Hey, mum, we'll get your jacket on. Oh, hey there. You just um putting your makeup on? Yeah. Gorgeous. Put your lipstick on. Let me see you do it in the mirror. Oh, honey, honey. Gorgeous. Mum's going to look at lights now. I need to see if they've got the one that I have. You coming to help me, Ella? Come help, Mummy. That's nice. That is nice. This one's okay. Mm, I feel like they're not going to have this. Same Let me see. See, that is nice. 39. I could just get another shade and put that one on the B table. Mommy, yeah, darling. Makeup. Oh, gorgeous makeup. That's cute. So, we're just having a wee look in TK Maxx, which is basically Home Sense, I think. I really like that. 24.99. What are you having a look at? Ah, oh, an elephant. These are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Careful. Careful. 
<laughs> oh, do you like the wee hedgehog, do you? They've got loads of nice wee frames as well. And then like amazing candles, obviously. Hi guys, sorry my camera battery died when I was out with my mum, but anyway, before I show you what I got when I was out, I'm going to show you upstairs before I forget, because I feel like I'm going to forget to show you this room completely. So I'm just walking into Charlie's room just now, and I'll give you a little view. My God, I'm so out of breath running up those stairs. So when you first walk in his room, he's got his little rocking elephant from my first years in the corner. I love that, sitting there. And then over here, he's got a set of double wardrobes, like that. And obviously the doors are off at the moment because they don't fit because the carpet's just been fitted. That's some towels I got from Matalan, but I'll show you them in a minute. And then we have started to build up his cot and just pushed it against the wall. And then in the corner, this stuff's all come out of storage. So he's got some toys. He's got um, his boxes that have all got toys in them as well. So they'll probably just sit in that kind of arrangement. The way they used to in the old house or maybe in this corner, I'm not sure yet. And then again, he's got some roller blinds and he's due to get some curtains next week. And then probably over here, I imagine we'll put like a chest of drawers that we can maybe put like a little TV on or something. And then obviously that leads you back out into the hall again. I'm also looking for some nice ceiling lights. So if anyone knows any nice pendant lights at a reasonable price or nice shops to go to, then please do let me know. I've seen ones on Iconic Lights that looked quite nice. But if you know any other shops, then I am willing to hear about them. And then over here, this is Ella's room. Now, admittedly, hers is the messiest just now because we can't put stuff in our room yet. So when we walk into Ella's room, she's got a bit more space here. So I'm planning on putting a little chair in the corner. And then as you pan into the room, it looks like this. Fraser's got a whole load of his stuff sitting here ready to be hung up in our wardrobe. Again, she's got the exact same kind of blind as Charlie and the same colour. And she's also popped up her little nightlight because she said that she needs that when she's sleeping, which is so cute. She's got a little radiator, and then again, one single light in the middle. And then we turn around, this is where her wardrobe is. So I think her and Charlie's room are pretty much the same, except they're like back to back with each other. So yeah, all her toys and stuff, she's kind of popped in this corner here, God love her, she's so cute. She just popped everything in here just now, and we need to obviously sort out some kind of organization in here. But her bed's also gonna have storage, which is great, so I'm hoping that'll come in handy. And then we walk back out of Ella's room, back onto the hallway. Oops. You're then into our room, which you'll notice is very, very echoey. <laughs> so we have not yet put any flooring down. We are actually tiling our bedroom, which is quite controversial. So quite different, but I think it'll look really nice and it'll pay off. So we're planning on putting a marble tile going from the ensuite all the way through into the bedroom. And then we're planning on having our big bed here, obviously with none of this in the road. <laughs> our bed's going to be here facing this way. And then we'll have like a chest of drawers here with a TV on it because there's a socket there which is ideal. And then our curtains are going to go from one end of the wall to the other rather than just hanging each side. We want them the whole way. And then over here, which is probably my favourite part of the room, we have got his and hers wardrobes. So this probably means that Fraser won't try to like encroach in my space, which I'm quite looking forward to. And again, we've got one light here, but what we're planning on doing is actually taking a little spurt off of this light and then making two pendant lights at each side for bedside lamps. So sooner than having two bedside tables with lamps on the tables, we'll actually have kind of like long dangling lights from the ceiling. So that's getting done next week. I need to get out of this room. It's actually so echoey, it's freaking me out. <laughs> and then in here is our own suite, which is one of those words that make me cringe, right? But it's the little toilet in our in our bedroom, basically. <laughs> the ensuite, I hate that. Anyway, I went for a kind of ribbed tile on the outside, which I really love. Honestly, if I'd have known these would have looked so good, I probably would have got them in the main bathroom. They're amazing. I think they're so special looking. Um, just something a bit different. So they're obviously the grey with white, just nice and fresh. Got some planters up already. Again, another roller blind. And then over here is the double shower, which is absolutely huge. I don't even know if it shows. 
<laughs> because I've got some shower gel in here. He needs to move that. <laughs> and then obviously it's a sliding door to get in it. But you will notice that I've gone for a different tile in here for cleaning. So it's a smooth one in the inside and then the ribbed one in the outside just purely so that it's not going to get really grubby in there with like conditioner and stuff. I can imagine them being a nightmare to clean. But yeah, I really loved it. It's got that feature as well where you can have just that little light on, which is the extractor fan. It looks so cool. Who's managed to crawl up here? What are you doing? We're showing everyone the house. We go home. And the house is a bit messy in here, sure it is. Want to take that down? Let's take it down to see Ella. Come on, take it down. Let's go. Uh oh. So Fraser's been hard at work in here today, just putting things away in like cupboards and stuff. <laughs> I say that and then open the cupboard that has like nothing in it basically. But um, I picked this up in TK Maxx. It is like a little. What do you call this thing again? Like a wee basin for your sink, but it's, it's got these holes in it, so it means that the water doesn't just sit there. It's just for kind of making sure you don't damage the bottom, but I really like how that looks. It's nice and organised. So I've got that in there. I also picked up a dishmatic when I was in Asda, and they had pink ones, which is like quite nice. So that is in there. And then when I was in Daniel Mill, they had method hand washes on offer. So I don't know how much these are, me and my mum were debating whether they were £2.50 or £2. If they were £2, I wish I'd get a hell of a lot more, but I thought this one was actually 3 <laughs> So anyway, I got one of the grapefruit ones and then two of the sweet water ones. But I'm keeping the pink grapefruit in here. And then over here I got this little pestle and mortar, which I really like. It's a kind of like marbly sort of look. That was only $5.99, but the reason why I got it is because I've got other sort of marble stuff in here and I just think it looks really nice set up like that. And then here I got these little Dorma um, little, what do you call them, jars just for keeping like cotton pads and stuff in. But my mum made a really good point. She's like, why don't you use them in your kitchen? Because I'm looking for coffee canisters. So she's like, go back and get another like three of these and keep it as like a tea, coffee and sugar canister and then use that one up the stairs for keeping the cotton pads in for in the bathroom. So I'm going to go back because they were reduced from £60 to £40 to £20 to £10 each. So I really need to go back and get another few. And I know it seems like a lot of money for tea and coffee canisters but I just cannot find ones that I like um, and they feel such good quality because it's like marble you can actually hear it so yeah really looking forward to getting them because they match in so lovely with this worktop and then in here a lot has changed so we've got a new light shade which is a kind of like crushed velvet that's from the Elm as well we then get this guy here <laughs> he's joined us I just really wanted something low in here and my nana here is in this picture. It's a nice photo to kind of remember my nana and granddad together. Um, she used to have one of these kind of ideas on her um, like fireplace and it was like a woman chasing dogs and I've always really liked it. And then I seen this and I thought that's quite interesting. I quite like the way that that's the same idea. So I really like that one here because it's the same color as the um, unit. And then Fraser put this little picture up of my nana, which is lovely. And over here, I've got some flowers up. We've also moved this little chair in here because there's a lot of space in that corner. I feel like we kind of need something else. New lamp is from TK Maxx. Love this one. I got that for, was it $39.99? So like really massive and it was such a good bargain. So that's sitting on the little table. And then I think the last thing I got was just the towels and then this. So this is like a little small vase, but this is only £9 from um, Danielle Mill. So really like that for holding my flowers. Go! Anyway guys, I've just rushed through that there because we are going to go and sit down and watch Shrek and have a wee movie night. I've got the jammies here for the kids. We just want to sign off here and kind of just chill for the night and enjoy the space that's been made. I feel like we're making such good progress in the house. It's starting to feel like a home now and I'm just very excited about getting in. There's tantrums and everything starting, so it's proper real life. So there we go. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you're new, subscribe. And if you are new, let me know in the comments and we can say hi. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.